Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The Saturday after Ash Wednesday, the 5th of March, and while the reading and the prayer are from For All the Saints, these aren't the appointed for the day. The reading, Francois de S-A-L-I-G-N-A-C F-E-N-E-L-O-N. -E so, when we notice in ourselves eager desires for something in the future, and when we see that our temperament carries us too intensely to all that must be done, let us try to restrain ourselves from hurry and ask our Lord to stop the haste in our hearts and the agitation of our behavior, since God has said himself that his spirit does not dwell in confusion. Let us take care not to participate too much in all that is said and done, and not to observe too much of it, because this is a great source of distraction. When we have seen what God asks of us in each task that presents itself, let us keep to that and separate from all the rest. Thus we shall always keep the depth of our souls free and balanced, and we shall cut off entirely the host of unnecessary things which burden our hearts and which prevent them from turning easily toward God. We must often raise the heart toward God. He will purify it, enlighten it, direct it. This was the daily practice of the holy prophet David. I had always, he said, the Lord before my eyes. Let us often say these beautiful words of David. Whom shall I seek in heaven and on earth? Save thee, O God. Thou art the God of my heart and my portion forever. The Prayer, Thomas Chambers, 1780-1847. Lord, teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Lighten, if it be thy will, the pressures of this world's cares. Above all, reconcile us to thy will and give us a peace which the world cannot take away. Through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.